All right, let's see how we can combine numbers that actually have uh, rational exponents. Let's start out with a multiplication question. So here I have 8 to the 3 fourths. I'm going to multiply that by 8 to the 5 fourths. What do we get? Well, there are lots of um, rules about powers, and I want to remind you of them. You've seen these before, and it turns out that all these apply even when the, the exponents are rational numbers. First of all, if you take the product of powers, you just add the exponents. So a to the m times a to the n equals a to the m plus n. Quotient of powers, we take the difference of the exponent of the numerator minus the exponent on the denominator. A power of power, a to the m all raised to the n, we multiply those exponents. A power of a product, a b to the m, we could take a to the m and multiply it by b to the m. And a power of a quotient, we can again a over b to the m is just a to the m over b to the m. All those rules, all of them, go over even if the exponents are rational. So here, since the base is the same, I can add the exponents. So I see it's 8 to the 3 fourths plus 5 fourths, which equals 8 to the 8 fourths. Well, 8 fourths is the same thing as 2, so this is actually 8 to the 2, or 8 squared, which actually I happen to know is 64. So look at that really complicated looking thing, which by the way, each number individually would be hard to compute exactly. However, once you take the product of those two complicated numbers, we see a simple 64. Kind of interesting, in math we see that a lot. Sometimes a really complicated something multiplied by another complicated something, the complexity sort of fits together perfectly, and all of a sudden the answer becomes simple. There's a great example of that. Let's try another one, which I just dropped, sorry. Here we go. 125 to the 1 third divided by 125 to the 2 thirds. What do we do here? Well, here, since we have the same base, we can write that common base. And since we're looking at a quotient, we can subtract the exponent. So I have 1 third minus 2 thirds, which equals 125 to the negative 1 third. What does a negative exponent mean? Well, that, remember, means that we take a reciprocal. So 1 over 125 to the 1 third. Boy, this, there's so many ways to make mistakes here, I can't even list them all. For example, here's a great mistake. You might say, OK, I'm going to take a, a, a reciprocal, and then you actually take a reciprocal of the exponent as well, and you write 125 to the third power. That would be a great mistake. To lop off that negative sign, what you've got to do is take a reciprocal of the whole thing, but that exponent stays intact, because that means take a root. So this equals 1 over the third root of 125, which I happen to know is 5. 5 times 5 is 25, times 5 is 125. So this actually is 1 over 5, or 1 fifth. So again, we see the same kind of example, although it was a little bit more elaborate. Very complicated number to compute, very complicated number to compute, and yet when you take the quotient of those two numbers, it turns out it just equals 1 fifth. Absolutely cool. Pretty, pretty cool.